Hi guys, this is the Cooper Fermenter, the first Cooper that isn't based off of a SEA. Now it's fun and stylish, but how much performance can we get out of a family crossover? with Cupra today, testing a range of their cars, which means we're gonna be short but sweet with you. And first up, we have the Cupra Form Mentor, so let's take a look around. The two litre petrol turbocharged engine gives us 310 brake horsepower and 400 new meters of torque. Paired with a seven speed DSG, we get 4.9 seconds to 60, the same as the Cupra Leon Estate. And that's because it weighs just two kilograms heavier at 1,626 kilograms. Not bad for a crossover. You also get a four wheel drive system. And if you go for the top model, you also get Brembo brakes, which are excellent. The key to a performance car is great brakes. Now you get things like your V1, your V2 and your V3, and even the V said like this, which only a hundred were made and brought to the UK. And it wouldn't be a crossover if it didn't have a big boot. We have 420 litres with the seats up and even bigger with them down, meaning plenty of space. And you don't compromise the space in the rear. There is lots of leg room for adults and headroom. Plus, the luxury follows through all the way into the back. Depending which spec you go for, you still get lots of additional extras in the cabin. Now, because this is a top spec, we get incredibly comfy bucket seats. We've got things like your Cooper button, copper everywhere, and an incredible 12 inch screen. Now you do have your digital display as well, so there's plenty of things to going on. And all of this will set you back a shy of 42 and a half thousand pounds. Add some of the upgrades of this and you'll make it 43 and a half, but that is brand new. Now we've had some facts and figures, let's see what the first impression drive is like. Now this is one of the very first cars from Cupra that isn't already a car by SEA. So it's the first full Cupra pedigree car. Now, there are some basics from the Leon, like the chassis, the infotainment system, we've got the same seven-speed DSG gearbox, but does that mean it still has the same recipe for performance, for fun, with that added touch of practicality? Initially, you don't feel as high up as you may think you would in a crossover, especially looking at the size of the car. It still almost gives you that hatch feel. Now, the real test is popping her into Cupra. We've got the gearbox into Sport. And we're actually gonna see what this performance side is capable of. The four wheel drive system, it drives all four wheels, meaning the power delivery is really balanced. Now, when you are driving a big heavy car like this, you want that because it's going to be on British roads and day-to-day -day driving a lot safer for the majority of people. Yet, when you turn the traction off, you get a little bit more control. Being the crossover, personally, even in the Cooper mode, we are a little bit shaky on the camera, but I feel it is soaking the bumps up better than the Leon. Now, that is that new Formenta pedigree, and it's got everything we love about Cooper. It's got the fun, the power, the incredible engine, whilst having that crossover feel and luxury so the big bet now is on a windier road is it doing what i want it to do the thing is it is scarily easy to get up to speed so you're having to be really careful now that points exactly where i want it to the steering, it is not light and wishy-washy. It's a little bit heavier, which is actually a lot better because if you are on more of a spirited journey, it means you can point it exactly where you want it to go. The nose, it's a little bit delayed turning in, but when I say a little bit, I mean minute compared to the Leon. That's just because it's bigger. Is it bigger? That is just because it is bigger. Now, in terms of weight, you don't feel like you are lumping a huge amount of weight in, you can notice the difference. But for the extra practicality that you do get, it's worth that compromise. 
This is a tried and tested platform with a great hot hatch engine. Now it handles like a slightly overgrown Leon, but you can have a lot more fun than I expected with this. You just turn it in, once the nose hooks up on the power. That's great. That is, yeah. Hot hatches are a great fun and recipe for just smiles and thrills. But as you get older and you might need the space for work or if you're starting a family, you want something that has that little bit of fun still because your inner child is needing that itch scratched. But you still need to fit the family in the back or you work stuff in the boot. This is that car. And I just want to say to Cupra, they have nailed it with this. Considering it is technically a new car from the Seat range. Now you may be wondering why did they introduce another crossover when you've got the small SUV of the Ateca. This is actually lower and longer. So it means that the sense of gravity is very, very good, which makes for better handling, a bit more performance. And with it being a crossover, so technically smaller, They've worked with what they know and what they know works well and they've put it into this and you can really tell. It has everything you love about a Cupra. It very well and truly deserves that copper badge. So there we have it, that is the Cupra Formenta, the first ever Cupra that is not based off a Seat platform and they have done it well. It definitely deserves that copper badge and is full of fun, performance and actually some practicality too. So there we have it guys, you all know the drill. To make my journey your journey, like, follow, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>